Hi, Penwise John here. Catherine Arden's The Warm Hands of Ghosts is a fascinating historical story with a supernatural twist. It is a New York Times bestseller. Readers were mesmerized by Arden's story in The Bear and The Nightingale, and her latest book, which takes place during the Great War, continues to do the same with its rich writing and complex plot. Laura Ivan, the main character of the book, is a respected field nurse who has to go back to her home in Halifax, Canada, after getting hurt and being kicked out of the medical corps. Frederick, her brother, is still fighting on the front lines in Flanders when she leaves, but when Laura gets the news that Freddy has died and gets his things, it makes her feel uneasy, and she goes back to Belgium to work as a volunteer at a private hospital to find out what happened. The story takes place in two different times, January 1918, when Laura is looking for the truth, and November 1917, when Freddy wakes up and finds himself stuck with a German soldier named Hans Winter. Their strange friendship turns into a desperate fight for life, when they meet a mysterious benefactor who seems to be able to erase the horrible memories of war. Arden did a great job of combining historical facts with supernatural elements. The Warm Hands of Ghosts is described as a frightening story of sibling love, human resilience, and the effects of trauma. The story vividly and honestly shows what it was like to be in war, making readers feel like they are in the haunted ditches. With the characters, one thing that makes the book stand out is how vividly it describes the spectral world of war. The story is full of ghosts, which represent the unsettled pasts and lingering memories that shape Laura and Freddy's problems in the present. It's a complex look at how war affects people's minds, with the dead and the living dancing together. In a scary way of sadness and hope, Catherine Arden has a gift for writing stories that are both beautiful and sad. When I read The Warm Hands of Ghosts, I felt very moved. Her writing is truly excellent. It takes me to a world where the lines between life and death are fuzzy and love can stand up to the harshest tests of war. The novel moves at just the right speed, drawing us in with the mystery of how Freddy died and keeping us interested with the ghostly tales that are going around the battlefield. I liked how Arden was able to make the historical settings seem real while also adding fantastical parts that fit right in with the story. The characters are well-rounded, and Laura and Freddy are the most interesting main characters. Their strength and love for each other keep them grounded in the chaos around them with his mysterious presence and creepy wine. The hotelier adds a layer of mystery that makes the book feel even more mysterious. When we switch between Laura's determined search and Freddy's deep journey of friendship and survival, the dual narrative structure really brings out the emotions of the book. Arden's look at the different kinds of love and the bonds that people make when they're in tough times gave the book a moral depth that stayed with me long after I finished reading it. Overall, The Warm Hands of Ghosts is a deeply moving book that explores the supernatural through beautiful writing, while also showing the scary facts of war. Arden is a master storyteller who can write in a variety of styles because her writing is vivid and powerful. This book isn't just a dream or historical fiction story. It's an experience that shows what it means to be human in its darkest and brightest times.